Oh, I broke the thing that time. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Beyond Next Door. So, Juan and I went the other day to pick up a 55 gallon tank from a family that Juan found that was nice enough to pretty much donate it to us. It used to be a saltwater tank, that's why it's so dirty and like crusty and nasty. And even in here, there's a bunch of salt that just dried and it's nasty it's it's the sand is all terribly black there there used to be coral and, and rock in here live rock i it basically died and it kind of just went to crap on the sand so we're gonna have to take the sand out clean it real good let this tank soak for a couple days in some water and vinegar but the nice thing is we did get a sump so we're going to use this sump to try to sump up the rest of our fish tanks. And uh, we got a refrigerator in there that we're going to clean up and probably put on the website. Because we're not going to do any saltwater tanks right now at least. And I guess I'll show you guys Pikachu. Because there's nothing else to show you. So we're going to get this tank inside the shed. Get some water in it, clean it. Make it look pretty, I guess, decent. And try to see what we can do with it. Don't do this. This is what dumb guys do when they want to take off trim. We use a hammer and a broken scraper. Remember, this is when you're not going to save the trim. This is how to take off trim without saving it, without saving trim. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. I broke the tank that time. So you see that crack right there? I'm just with you. <laughs> okay, quit saying that because you're gonna end up actually doing it. We're breaking it? Yeah, probably. We'll put it at the front of the video when I do. That'll be our clickbait. Juan's over there cutting the, the trim with the razor blade. He's just going up against all that nasty silicone. Yeah, right on the bottom, there's a little slit right here. You can ride a nice little razor blade and bam, you see how that comes off? That's what you want. So we'll come back once we're done with this. Juan's gonna do the final part here. He's pretty much removed all the silicone. All we gotta do is pretty much lift it. So go ahead, Juan. You see, there you go. That's what you want to do right there. Except, if you want to keep it, like I said, don't destroy it. We just don't care about the trim. This looks a lot better to us, seamless. So what you're going to want to do is easy. You just get yourself a razor blade. Simple blade, man. Easy. You go along this nasty edge. See all the silicone? You just scrape it. See that? Oh, the shadow probably caught all that shit. But look, you just want to It's that satisfying shit. And that's all you want to do, guys. You just stepped on Rocky. <laughs> I think so. 
なくね電車のベンチ取るんだけどふっくちゃん今日も飯As I'm sitting here editing this, I realize it's uh, way too long and I'm just going to cut it short in the next video. It'll be the second part of this video. We're going to show you how we clean the fish tank, what we're going to do with the fish tank, if we're going to break it down, tear it down into multiple 10 gallon tanks, or if we're going to take off all the trim, fix it, make it clean and set it up as a 55 gallon planted tank for angelfish. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment what you want to see with that tank. Either we're going to break it down and show you how to build 10 gallon tanks out of it or we can plan it and show you guys how to have a planted aquarium from the beginning to, to the end. So just let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see with that 55 gallon. And the next part, it'll just be us cleaning it and showing you what we're going to do with it. So let me know what you want to see in the comments section below. Uh, after 100 subscribers, we're going to do another giveaway. So be looking out for that. And hopefully you guys like, share, comment, do all that nice stuff on here. Yeah, have a good day.